So I've had a few people ask me now about judging potting angles and how I go about lining up shots. So what I've done today is I've made this pocket here bigger. So I've put a towel in the normal pocket here to cover up this small opening. And I've used these two cardboard boxes to create a big opening here. So we've got a nice big pocket to aim for. And I'm gonna use this just to highlight a point that I'd like to make today about judging potting angles and how over time you'll just naturally get better at it. So let's have a look at a couple of shots and how I go about aiming and choosing the potting angle from behind the shot. So if we have a look at this shot that I'm faced with now, I need to pot this red ball into the new big pocket that we've created in the corner. So this is really no more complicated than me standing behind these two balls, the white ball and the red ball, and judging where I need to bowl the white ball onto the red ball at the correct contact point to pot the ball into the corner there. So if I stand behind this and have a look, line up the shot and get down to play the shot. So you can see there that I did pot the ball into the new big pocket that I created, but it did miss the original pocket that would have been on the table. So when I'm standing behind the shot and I'm looking at potting a red like this, what am I looking at? Well, I literally am imagining where I need to bowl the white ball onto the red ball so that I pot it into the corner pocket. Now, it really is no more complicated than that, and there's no special aiming technique that you can use so that you pot balls more effectively. All that really happens is the more you practice and the more you play, you just get better at better at picking out these angles. So when I stand behind the line of the shot like this, I stand up, I'm imagining where that white ball is going to make contact with that red, and I've got that visualised in my mind, and then I walk down into the shot, and I get down on the shot to play the shot, and I'm just keeping visualised in my mind that almost that imaginary white ball where it's going to contact that red, and then hopefully if I hit that point, I should pop the ball. Now one more important thing to say on this is it's really important to try and commit all the time to queuing straight and just delivering that cue in a straight line. Because if you pick out the line that you think that you need in order to pop that ball, but then you don't cue straight, well you've got no feedback then. So it's really important to pick your line from behind the shot. And then what you need to do is just get down and just deliver that cue straight and see where that ball goes. If that ball goes a little bit thick, well then you've probably aimed up just a little bit thick and you need to adjust next time and aim a little bit thinner. So as I say, there's nothing really too magical about this, nothing too complicated. You just need to stand up behind the shot and try to visualise where you need to get the white wall onto that red so that you pot it into the corner. So what's the point I'm trying to make in this video by using a bigger pocket here in the corner? And the point I'm trying to make is to not overcomplicate lining up shots. So I think most players can fairly accurately pick where they need to bowl that white ball onto this red ball at the correct contact point to pot it into this big pocket here. So if we made all the pockets on a snooker table this big, I think most players would pot most of the balls all the time. So what we said was, well, let's make the pockets a lot smaller so we hold ourselves to much higher standards in terms of our aiming and how precisely we've got to hit that red ball. Now, you won't immediately have a good knowledge of exactly where to hit that red ball to be very, very accurate all the time. So don't overcomplicate it. With practice, you will get better and better at visualising these angles and understanding exactly where you need to strike that ball to very accurately get that ball to go into the pocket. So I hope that clears things up a little bit for people. Don't expect to be as accurate as Ronnie O'Sullivan or John Higgins is when they're picking out potting angles. They've got years and years of experience at recognising those angles. So when you're first starting out, you'll be able to judge those angles fairly accurately. And then as you improve, you'll get better and better and you'll become more accurate and hopefully start potting more and more balls. So I hope this has made people feel a bit more comfortable about aiming. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like. And if you want to see more instructional videos just like this one, please subscribe to the channel. I upload videos regularly. Thanks for watching. Cheers.